Now, the New South Wales Liberal National Government, a coalition government that's been in place since 2011, churning through four premiers in 11 years, is in deep strife again. Premier Dominic Perrottet had to sack a junior minister over the weekend, with small business minister Eleni Petanos dumped over bullying allegations in the workplace. But incredibly, that's not the Premier's biggest problem at the moment. Instead, he's locked in a struggle to defend his deputy Liberal leader, Stuart Ayres, who's also Minister for Trade, Tourism and Western Sydney. The issue is the appointment of former Deputy Premier and Nationals leader John Barillaro to be New South Wales Trade Commissioner in New York City, even though the job had already been offered to a public servant. Thanks to that controversy, Barillaro has since withdrawn. An independent inquiry is underway, along with a parliamentary inquiry. And what's been coming out has been damning, showing that Ayres texted the job adver advertisement to Barillaro in the first place, who'd recently quit Parliament. It also shows that while Ayres says he left the appointment to the public service, he did add someone to the job shortlist. Barillaro was not initially assessed as the best candidate and the recruitment assessment of Barillaro was upgraded after he was appointed. It looks very messy. It's a classic case of jobs for the boys, all right. There can't be any doubt about that. What's at question is whether there was integrity in the process and whether the Trade Minister has been misleading when he's been explaining the process. He's resisting pressure, even from some people privately within the government, to stand aside. I was not involved in this recruitment process. I was not involved in the selection panel. I wasn't engaged in the writing of any of those reports. That practice and that process entirely sits within the purview of the New South Wales Public Service and Investment New South Wales. And the Premier is standing by him despite a daily political and media firestorm. I've set up a process, I will receive that information and I will act on that information and I'm not going to give a running commentary in terms of this person says this and this person says that and here's some information here and here's some information there. The question is how long this can go on, especially with the state election only eight months away. I was not involved in this recruitment process. I was not involved in the selection panel. I wasn't engaged in the writing of any of those reports. That practice and that process entirely sits within the purview of the New South Wales Public Service and Investment New South Wales. Yeah, well, uh, Stuart Ayres also went on to say that there's no reason for him to stand aside. But there is actually a reason for him to stand aside. To protect the government, to support the Premier, to remove this distraction from day-to-day -day governance while the inquiries are conducted. There's enough evidence out there now to make the situation look untenable. Ayres doesn't need to admit any guilt, but he should see that there's a serious issue to be investigated here. It's harming the government daily, and it might be best for him to stand aside pending the outcome of that independent inquiry. If he's cleared, he can come back. But for now, his position in the Cabinet is preventing the government from functioning effectively.